Hello, beautiful, 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 intelligent black people right here on this plantation called America and all across the globe. Hello, you beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. America is a dumpster fire. In October, early October of the year 2020, this so-called fake-ass democracy called America is likened to a dumpster fire. And I would say to those silent, hidden agenda, racist white folks. Do not fan the flames. Do not fan the flames. Even if you racist, silent, unpatriotic white folks do not agree that Black li- that black lives matter. Even if you do not like seasoning and all you like is white salt. All you like is white salt. Even if you do not like black pepper, turmeric, cinnamon, nutmeg. Even if you do not like black tea, if you do not like moringa tea, you just like your seasoning straight up white. Even if you refuse to accept the infinite amount of studies, the infinite, the infinite amount of studies that have proved systemic racism exists in all facets of life for black folks, people that look like me right here on this plantation called America. Systemic racism is at the voting polls. Systemic racism is within the voting system, the voting process. Systemic racism inundates law enforcement. Systemic racism is at every step, is at every step of the criminal justice process. Systemic racism drives the education system. Systemic racism is overflowing. Is overflowing in our health care system. Even if you do not agree with all of that, then why would you fight against addressing the problems that all of those things are causing right here on this plantation called America? White folks, racist white folks, can we agree that white racist cops kill too many human beings? Can we agree on that? Already this year, white racist cops have killed 1,100 human beings. 
white racist cops have killed 1,100 human beings, my beautiful black intelligent brothers and sisters. Can we agree that racist white cops kill too many human beings? And this question is, why not? Why not just try to improve all schools? Why not? Why not try to improve all schools? And this question, should, shouldn't everyone, should not everyone have a better paying job? I believe so. I believe that everyone should have a better paying job. Why would anyone want more people in jail or more people dying because they cannot afford health care? Why would anyone want more people in jail or more people dying because they cannot afford health care. The only people that have those type of demonized, vicious desires are white folks. Face it, it is white folks that have denied health care to poor folks since the inception of this plantation called America. It is white folks that are trying to eliminate Obamacare right now. So when you ask the question, why would anyone want more people in jail? It is those delusional, demented mind white folks. Why would anyone want more people dying because they do not have health care? White folks would. Those delusional, demented, crazy-ass white folks want just that. They are. They are a lousy excuse for human beings. And I would say to these racist white folks, why are you fighting good shit? Health care is good stuff. Having less people in jail is good stuff. Why are you fighting good stuff, white folks? Why are you fighting good stuff. And it is not a rhetorical question. That is not a rhetorical question. I do really want to know why anyone would support a murderer. Why would anyone support a murderer? As Trump the Republican Party and millions of white folks supported Dylan Roof, supported this Kyle Rittenhouse that killed the protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Why would anyone support a mass murderer Trump is a mass murderer, but there's at least 100 million white folks that support his dumb, vicious, murderous ass. That inhuman being, that inhuman being called Trump. Why would anyone oppose 
an increase in the minimum wage or repeal a law that increased the number of insured Americans. Why would anyone do that? The only folks that are doing that, that would do that, are racist white folks, are racist white folks, are racist white folks. There are also white folks who cannot afford health insurance. Don't you know that, racist white folks? There are white folks that cannot afford health insurance. 67% of the people on food stamps are white folks. On welfare are white folks. So you are denying health care to your own kind. There are more poor and unemployed white folks. The statistics will prove that. There are more poor and unemployed, unemployed white folks than there are black folks, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. You know, you know that these racist white cops are killing white folks too. 1,100 human beings have been killed by racist white cops this year already. Do you know that a lot of those 1,100 human beings that have been murdered by racist white cops are white folks just like you? They are. We are in a Trumpopocalypse. We are in a trump list. A trump list. We are living within a trump list. It is a trump list. It is a trump list. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. And this system of cold. Trump is devouring, D E V O U R I N G, is devouring our democracy. It is devouring the rule of law. It is devouring justice. Justice. It is devouring us, period. Do you remember how you used to gather around the fire and and watch black folks burn? Racist white folks. Look at your history, racist white folks. Look at your history. There was a time during the Jim Crow era, era, during the 246 years of slavery, when racist white folks would gather around the fire eating sandwiches and drinking beverages, enjoying the burning of a black body alive. Enjoying the burning of a black body alive. Do you remember racist white folks? If you know any of your vicious murderers history. Do you remember when black folks begged you to help us extinguish the flame? 
And you replied, white folks. And you replied, white folks. No. I got to roast these marshmallows. You replied, no. I have to roast these marshmallows. That is where you and your ancestors are coming from. If you silent, racist, murderous, unpatriotic white folks that are Trump supporters could roast marshmallows today, you would do it and you would gather around the fire eating your sandwiches drinking your beverages, converse, communicating with each, each other, laughing, and enjoying the entertainment while you burn a black body alive, while you burn and roast your marshmallows. Consider that, you racist unpatriotic white folks that are Trump supporters. There's about 100 million of, of you right here on this plantation called America. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay COVID free. I will talk to you again on another one real soon.